Mr. Roy started with Focus Hope years and years ago. He was here for approximately 30 years as the volunteer extraordinaire. He actually became the Dean of the Center for Advanced Technologies after his retirement from General Motors. Mart Harris, but he was one of the uh, fr longtime friend of mine. Mart now is about 95, I guess. He's still living. And so he said, well, you need to come down there and see what Father Cunningham's going to do. You'd love what they're going to do again. And so we came down and spent the day here at Focus Hope, just touring the facilities. I became interested. There were quite a few of us that came for no salary. His presence here has resonated because we have engineers who come back to talk about what getting an engineering degree from Focus Hope has meant for them. That impact on the lives that he changed is so great and goes on for decades. At Focus Hope, Lloyd Royce will always be a part of our family. Lloyd has um, always been a leader in this community and whatever he touches, he touches with his own spirit and uh, sense of commitment and loyalty and he has uh, taken care of and nurtured many organizations. It's thanks to the leadership of people like Lloyd and Lloyd specifically that we have Orchestra Hall here in our community. He's uh, certainly helped the Detroit Symphony Orchestra in so many ways. I think this is an amazing opportunity for us all to say thank you, Lloyd, for everything you've done for so many people. Mr. Royce is the leader who perpetuated excellence and moved us forward in that direction. He's a visionary, not only for Lawrence Tech, but his influence is all over this area. The Board of Trustees unanimously approved that the newest building on campus be named after him. The Royces have been members here for over 50 years. I believe his generosity is born out of his faith. But he has a deep and abiding faith, and he believes that that faith calls him to make a difference in the world. As I look back at all of the things he's been involved with over his lifetime, I can't even begin to comprehend how many thousands of people uh, that his generosity and his hard work have touched. So it's one of the things as we were growing up is that you had to make sure that you're, uh, you're taking care of not just yourself, but anybody else you can.